So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another class of PIB 247. My name is Manish Mishra and in today's class we'll be talking about the PIB news from 23rd to 25th of June 2023. And guys in these three days the news are not uh, much, very less news we have. So it's a good thing for us and for you. So let's start with the class and I hope guys the revisions are going fine. अब कुछ ही दिन बचे हैं, so you guys should focus on the revision and just do not run after the new things, okay? So let's talk about the very first question, which says, Ministry of Ayush in collaboration with the which ministry has organized yoga from Arctic to Antarctica event on the occasion of International Yoga Day 2023? So uh, this news is from all the events which uh, took place on the International Day of Yoga 2023. So the PIB has released a full document. Uh, regarding all the events that took place on the occasion of International Yoga Day 2023. And some important ones are these. Theme we all know, Yoga for Vasudev Kutumbukam was the theme for this year's International Yoga Day. The global celebration of the Yoga Day was led by Prime Minister Modi at North Loan of United Nations Headquarters in New York. Right? This uh, Agni's World Record was set for participation by maximum number of nationalities in a yoga session. Over 135 nationalities ke log wahan pe maujood the us session mein. Right? There were over 135 nationalities people in that international uh, slip, uh, celebration of International Yoga Day. The national celebration we all know was led by Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar at Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh and its focus was to achieve Har Angan Yoga. Right? Every house yoga by enabling observation of yoga at village level. There was an ocean ring of yoga which was organized by Ministry of Ayush in uh, collaboration with the Ministry of Defense and other ministries symbolizing unity and solidarity. Right, ocean ring of yoga was, uh, you know, symbolizing the unity and solidarity. Yoga from Arctic to Antarctica event was organized by Ministry of External Affairs and the Ministry of Ayush in countries falling in and around the prime meridian line besides UN member countries. Then of course there was a yoga my pride contest that was a photo photography contest organized by Ministry of Ayush in collaboration with ICCR that is Indian Council for Cultural Relations and Ministry of External Affairs. And last but not the least by break at workspaces it has been introduced introduced by Ministry of Ayush with the aim to get de-stressed, refreshed or refocused at the workspace. This is an idea where uh, uh, there will be short yoga breaks at your workplaces. Okay, but of course, there's nothing like that. So let's come back to the question. Ministry of Ayush in collaboration with which ministry has organized yoga from Arctic to Antarctica? So the correct answer is Ministry of External Affairs, headed by S.J. Shankar. Option C is the correct answer. Alright, I hope this is clear. Question number 2. With which international organization? Very, very important question for RBI aspirant and Nabad as well. With which international organization has Day and ULM? entered into a collaborative partnership for empowering women to make well-informed career choices in the field of entrepreneurship. This scheme guys I have discussed in very much detail in the recently concluded government schemes revision classes. So you guys haven't watched those classes please go and watch them because uh, those are the Ramban for your government schemes uh, for your examinations right. So this international organization guys is UNDP United Nations Development Programme which has uh, collaborated with Day NULM. Now the collaboration has been done for empowering women to make well-informed career choices in the field of entrepreneurship, to support women to become entrepreneurs. That is the whole idea of this collaboration. All right. It is focused on fostering entrepreneurship development and accelerating enterprise growth. It will provide support to all those women who are looking to start, expand their own enterprises in sectors such as care economy, digital economy, electric mobility, waste management, food packaging and more. Duration will be of 3 years but however uh, it may be extended beyond 2025 as well and it will cover 8 cities in the initial phase and the name of 8 cities have not uh, has not been revealed. Abhi tak 8 cities ka naam kisi bhi release mein nahi tha, no newspapers, no uh, PIB, kahin pe bhi nahi tha, but if I would get to know uh, the names of all these 8 cities, I will tell you as well. Thik hai ji? So what is the correct answer? United Nations Development Programme Option A. Question number 3. Identify incorrect statement about grievance redressal assessment and index 2022. Right? Incorrect statement. Hai. Very important. Kuch time pehle, humne isko 
क्वेश्चन इन शॉर्ट में पढ़ा था बट नाउ द इंडेक्स एंड दसेसमेंट हैज बिन रिलीज सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल टूडे so the ministry of personal public grievances and pensions has released the grievance redressal assessment and index 2022 and as the name suggests what is the name of this index grievance redressal assessment which means this index has assessed the level of grievance redressal the the success of grievance redressal mechanism in various ministries departments and organizations within the government of india right so to present organization wise comparative picture and provide valuable insights about strength in the areas of improvement regarding grievance redressal mechanism that is the whole objective of this particular index it has been conceptualized and designed by department of administrative reforms and public grievances darpg there are four dimensions which are efficiency feedback domain and organizational commitments with the corresponding 12 indicators right now the names of 12 indicators are not important just remember that there are 12 indicators and four dimensions which you have to remember yes which are efficiency feedback domain and organizational commitment theek okay? hai now in the 2022 edition 89 central ministries and departments were assessed and ranked to compute data from the month of january to december 2022 was taken from cp grams all right the organizations the departments everything jodne bhi isme categories hai were divided into three groups group a b and c in group a those organizations were there which have registered grievances more than 10000 in group b registered grievances 2000 to uh, 999 in group c registered grievances less than 2000 theek hai and sabse zyada jo number of organized ministries or department thi that was in group b 31 followed by group a 30 and then 28 group c right and to topers ki baat kare so in group a department of ports was at uh, has been ranked at number 1 and uh, Uh, unique identification authority of india is at number 2 in group b number 1 position pe hai department of financial services number followed by department of legal affairs and in group c the number 1 is department of land resources followed by department of pharmaceuticals okay so that is all about this index guys and let's identify the incorrect statement it has been released by niti ayog no pehla hi statement incorrect hai which means option a will be the correct answer बाकी भी एक बार चेक कर लेते हैं इट हैज असिस्टेंट रैंक 89 यस इट हैज रैंक सेंट्रल मिनिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट फोर डायमेंशन एंड कोरिस्पोंडिंग टू इंडिकेटर्स टू कंप्यूट द डेटा बिटवीन जनवरी एंड दिसंबर वाज यूज्ड फ्रॉम सीपी ग्राम्स एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज हैज स्टॉप्ड इन ग्रुप बी ठीक है ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 व्हिच मोबाइल ऐप विद फेस ऑथेंटिकेशन फीचर हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर हेडेड बाय नरेंद्र सिंह तोमर अंडर इनकम सपोर्ट स्कीम पीएम किसान राइट प्रधानमंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू गाइस द नेम ऑफ द ऐप इज बाय द नेम ऑफ द स्कीम ओनली पीएम किसान मोबाइल ऐप राइट सो द मिनिस्टर ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर हैज लॉन्च पीएम किसान मोबाइल ऐप ऑफ कोर्स अंडर द पीएम किसान स्कीम अंडर द पीएम किसान स्कीम नाउ इट हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड विद अ वेरी यूनिक फेस ऑथेंटिकेशन फीचर एंड विद दिस PM Kisan becomes the first central welfare scheme to roll out the face authentication feature and that's why it is very very important this app will allow farmers to complete eKYC process remotely sitting at home easily by scanning face without any kind of OTP fingerprint or any kind of registration code theek hai jaise aapne aap jab credit card wagera lete hain ya kuch koi koi bhi bank transaction hota hai to there is a process where video KYC is done so this is the same like that theek hai So what will be the correct answer? PM Kisan mobile app option E. And now, guys, let's talk about the questions in short. But before that, if you want to have the PDF of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. And if you want to have the pasture papers book, so we have recently launched pasture papers book for RBI Grade B, and uh, for that contains the pasture papers from 2010 to 2022, both phase one and phase two. It is available on Amazon and also on the website Anujinder. dot in. ठीक है तो if you want to buy it, you can go there. Question number five. Whereas KBIC launched Khadi Yoga Mat on the occasion of International Yoga Day of 2023. So this Khadi Yoga Mat was launched by KBIC in Mumbai, the headquarters of KBIC. Option A is the correct answer. How much paddy has been procured by government till 19 June 2023 for central pool under MSP operations during the kharif marketing season 
22-23. So monthly data generally nahi dalta mein, but this time the exam is very near. So that's why I'm putting it. It's 830 lakh metric ton. Option A is the correct answer. How much wheat has been procured by government till 19 June 2023? Now the, the question is about wheat. Uh, during the ongoing RMS, Ravi marketing season 2023-24. The correct answer here in this case is 262 lakh metric tons. Option B. Question number 8. Ministry of Commerce and Industries is implementing flagship one district one product initiative for fostering inclusive development across all districts of India. Its objective is to identify and promote a distinct product from each district. Okay? Thereby creating a niche identity for them. By focusing on these shoes and products, ODOP aims to drive holistic social economic growth and improve the market accessibility. Question is, how many products so far have been selected from all 761 districts of the country? So more than 1000 products have been so far selected under ODOP scheme. Okay, option A is the correct answer. And the last question guys, but not the least, where has Department for Promotion of Industry, Internal Trade, DPIIT and Invest India have organized one district, one product, Sampark event. It was organized at Kohima, which is in Nagaland. Option B is the correct answer. All right, guys. So that was a crisp and short session today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. And I will see you in the next class on Wednesday. Till then, keep studying and keep studying hard. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.